What's going on guys? I've got a 2005 Ford Escape and I'm going to use it to point out to you the location of some important fuses and relays for troubleshooting the starting. So to begin, we're going to go under the hood. Next to the battery, on the driver's side, there's a fuse box here. And you, you actually open the cover by just lifting up on this tab like so. Now let's assume that our battery is good. Maybe you've had it tested or maybe you've just replaced it. Um, going into the fuse box, first thing for you to check, there's a 50 amp fuse right here, J case fuse. This provides power to two places that are important for starting. For one, it provides power to your starter relay, which is located here. It also provides power to this 25 amp fuse right there. This fuse in turn provides power to the interior fuse compartment. So we're gonna head over there. And the fuse for, for us to check in here is fuse number four. Fuse four is what provides power to the ignition switch. And it's this 10 amp fuse right here. You can just simply pull it straight out to check it. As you can see, this one is intact. So it's gonna be that 10 amp fuse right there. Now, if the 10 amp fuse is intact, power is sent through it to the ignition switch. And when the ignition switch, when you turn it all the way to the start position, it passes power through it. Now, if your vehicle is in automatic, that power will then go to the transmission range sensor on top of the transmission. If it is a stick shift like this one, it provides the power to the clutch pedal position switch, which is right here. This is a safety device, and it won't allow you to start the car unless you're pushing the clutch in all the way. If this switch is operable, then when the clutch is pushed in all the way, it will continue to pass that power through, and the power will get sent to two different places. By the way, if you've got an automatic, the position switch on top of the transmission sends the power to two different places as well, only if you're in park and neutral. So one of the places it sends power to is actually the starter relay again. It sends power to trigger it, and it also sends power to the powertrain control module. This, this power sent to it is basically you telling the computer of the car that you would like to start the car. The computer then runs through a few checks. Um, namely, it checks to see if the engine is already running. And if the conditions are met, then it actually provides the ground necessary to trigger the starter relay. The ground coming out of the computer is actually routed through the diode. So if the diode burns out, the ground will not get sent to the starter relay and the car will not start. So you've got power coming from this. You've also got power coming from the ignition switch when you turn it all the way to the start position. The computer is supposed to provide ground via this diode here. And if you suspect that the diode's bad, you can swap it with the diode right next to it, which is for the AC system. And uh, as far as the starter relay itself, you can try tapping on it to see if it's stuck or feel free to swap it with any of the cooling relays right there. While we're at this fuse box, I'm also gonna point out to you the powertrain control module relay is this one. Your fuel pump relay is here and the fuse for the fuel pump is gonna be this 20 amp fuse right there. Now the final thing I'm gonna show you is the starter itself. If everything is working properly, the signal that gets sent to the starter is present. You should be able to measure it at the bottom most bolt that's right there. So that very bottom bolt, you should see power there when you're attempting to start. And you can also provide your own power to that point if you wanna manually trigger the starter motor. So yeah, that about covers it. Uh, I hope this is helpful in you troubleshooting your, your uh, Ford Escape. Let me know if you guys have any questions or any tips about you know, the starting system.